All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with the Spyderco Bradley 2 here with me for a maintenance video. But hey, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this piece right over here? Which, because it's pretty good, there's only... Man, one flaw here is the lock bar axis. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but kind of is. I mean, this is a very cool looking knife, great ergo, super solid. Just Dremel, just grind this side here and we're gonna have a, a winner for sure, guys. But hey, let's go ahead and take this guy apart. We're gonna need the T8 and T6 Torx bit screws. So let's start. I need a screwdriver right which is this guy right over here with a t8 mounted on to attack the pivot screw which is out in a bit and then we're gonna need a what a t6 i said all right so t6 is right over here and let's do the handle all right so that is one and that is two and this is three. And this scale should pop off like there's no tomorrow. But kind of doesn't. So one, two, and three. Uh, let's just pry that scale out with some plastic tool and some patience and some uh, and a little bit of gentle touch, uh, maybe pushing the pivot out is gonna help uh, and reduce a little bit of tension here. Not really, guys. Huh. I mean, pretty tight. Okay, so probably these uh, standoffs are keyed in. They're not. And uh, that's the internal, internal structure, which we can leave like that. We're just gonna make sure we don't lose the stop pin. Make sure you grab one of these alcohol swabs right there. And let's clean up everything, guys. So, gonna start. Nice satin finish. I mean, Scratched fit and finish. It's not really like a satin. I was kidding, but <clears throat> Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean That's an interesting uh, finish for the inside of these skeletonized liners actually Very good reduce the weight still pretty solid. This is the cheap carbon fiber kind of like the laminated carbon fiber which I'm not a fan of but it's all right, I mean, the price is not too shabby and this is M4 steel, so pretty high up there. Thick uh, bronze washer as they appear. And that is it, guys. So stop pin is back and goes right over here. And then you got your washer there. And then just use a little bit, I'm just gonna use five weight nano oil, a little bit on the detent ball, and then you get your blade in place. And then you get, uh, let's do a little bit of oil here, and a tiny bit on top. And then what do you do? Just grab the scale, align it, there you go. <coughs> and go reverse. So starting with the handle screw that is distal to the blade and boom, and it's in. <clears throat> Never over tighten that, uh, those uh, tiny screws because they are weak, guys. Even if they are titanium steel, whatever, you know, the hard, if you use good bits, uh, which should be hardened, they're gonna be hard. So they can strip the screw. So just be careful, don't over tighten, never. Like even in life, don't over tighten anything in life, right? 
and uh, this is keyed in so you know what we can use a little bit uh, of uh, blue loctite uh, we are gonna need a t8 for this job not a t10 and uh, probably that's way too much wow that is a lot of blue loctite yeah so I just clean that off if I can be less clumsy there you go let's say that's enough that's more than enough here you go so that is in let's check for blade stiffness way too stiff Blade is centered, action is super snappy. I'm looking for the compression lock. Very good. Guys, this, uh, yeah, lock bar axis, not good. But uh, the action is very snappy, nice. Uh, we don't have a lock bar, a lock play, so we have a winner except for that lock bar. All right, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Stay tuned.